In this video we'll briefly discuss, almost all you need to know about enalapril, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions, and some advice to patients taking it. Enalapril is an antihypertensive and vasodilator. It belongs to a category of drugs called angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors. It competitively inhibits angiotensin-converting enzyme, preventing conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which is a potent vasoconstrictor. Clinical consequences include decreased sodium and fluid retention, decreased blood pressure, and increased diuresis. So it is used in the management of hypertension and congestive heart failure. It is presented as tablets, in concentrations of 2.5, 5, 10 and 20 mg. The usual dose for hypertension for adults, is initially 5 mg once daily, then increase the dose every 1 to 2 weeks, according to blood pressure, up to 10 to 40 mg once daily, or in 2 divided doses. In elderly patients, patients taking a diuretic or patients with a renal impairment, Start with 2.5 mg once daily, as there is a risk of hypotension or acute renal impairment. And the usual dose for congestive heart failure for adults, is 2.5 mg once daily. Then increase the dose over 2 to 4 weeks, up to 10 to 20 mg once daily, or in 2 divided doses. Enalapril may cause hypotension, dry cough at night, hyperkalemia, increases potassium in the blood, headache, dizziness, nausea, renal impairment, allergic reactions, angioedema, and it rarely causes hepatitis, neutropenia and eranilocytosis, in immunodeficient patients, anemia in patients with chronic renal impairment. Dosage should be reduced in patients with renal impairment. Potassium sparing diuretics, such as spironolactone, or potassium, shouldn't be combined with enalapril. If possible, monitor serum creatinine and potassium levels. In patients taking a diuretic, reduce the dose of the diuretic when adding enalapril. Enalapril is contraindicated in pregnancy, and there is no contraindication at recommended doses in breastfeeding. So finally some advice to patients taking enalapril. First, you should know that hypertension is controlled, not cured. So regular follow-up visits is very important. Additional interventions for control of hypertension. Weight reduction, exercise, stress management, stopping smoking. There is a potential for temporarily altered impairment of taste sensation, and for dry cough. Try to make position changes slowly, and wait a few minutes before standing to minimize orthostatic hypotension. Report these symptoms to physician, rash, fever, chest pain, hives, or dyspnea. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos like this one.